don't even know where my shoes are. Today is September 10th. It's about 8.30 a.m. Oh good, it was just a short little guy. And here is your Sunday backyard garden update. Starting off with a little visit from the trains. We have some tree starters here that are doing really well. This, I don't know what it is. If anyone could ID this for me, I would be very grateful. Um, I thought it was something that I had started, like a tree that I had propagated, but it turns out the propagations died. Like this was one of the sticks. It just never rooted. So what is this? I would love to know. The eggplants are doing so good right now. I hope we can keep this going. I hope it doesn't get too cold too fast, but I can really feel fall coming on very quickly this year. The pond got a little reconfiguration because we found some mosquito larva in there. So I did have the water coming off of this rock. It was set up over there. It was like a nice little trickle, but it wasn't making the water move enough. So we reset it up, cleaned it out, and haven't seen any mosquito larva since. Apple tree and blueberries, same, same, mostly just like winding down for the year, getting some fall colors in them. Cosmos and look at this, look at this, sunflowers. Like that is ridiculous still not flowering either. Oh, oh, oh. These ones are supposed to be teddy bear sunflowers. They kind of got shaded out a little, but it looks like they are trying to open. So that's cool. And I guess I should give credit where credit is due. There are what, three flowers on my Cosmos that are 10 feet tall. Coming down here, it looks like a lot of borage seeded itself in the grass that I'm not excited about. So I'll have to come through here and do some weeding, take out a bunch of this borage that self seeded. It's the year of self seeding. It seems like just neglect mostly. Um, peppers here are starting to make a bit of a comeback now that they aren't being um, shaded out by the borage and everything that was here before. Fig tree. Again, uh, not looking the greatest, but it is time for the season to be winding down. The orange row is doing good. Lots of, uh, lots of zinnias still come in and marigolds, so many. They look so pretty. Here's another, look at that. Look, it's like, it's gonna be as tall as my house. The angle makes it look like it is as tall as my house. Ah, I'm just gonna try to squeeze over here. Uh, cleanup needs to happen today. Of course, this is the only one that was flowering and it fell over. Of course, it's ridiculous. This bed is doing very good. I can see the fava beans forming. I can actually see lots of fava beans in there. Favas are my faves. Ugh, let me just grab this and I'll show you. These guys look like they're doing good too. Some of them at least. Some look like they're struggling. Like what's going on with that? I don't know. So I have to get in here really soon to start harvesting, obviously, and cleaning that up. Uh, here, the peppers are doing great. If you just kind of like look through, I don't really want to open it, but there are tons of peppers. Nothing's planted on this side, although the garlic that I missed is starting to pop up. And of course, some more casualties from the sunflower plant. All right, coming over here. I'm not wearing, I'm, I have to strategically step on the patio stones. Look at the beans. This is crazy. I did not 
expect them to do so well, but I'm so, so happy. There's probably gonna be some little beans in here to harvest pretty soon. Lots of beans. We're ending the year strong on beans. Moving over here, the tomato plants are starting to slowly wean out. Wean out, is that the right term? Um, I planted carrots in here, some like fat chubby carrots that look like radishes. The columbine, still beautiful, still fluffy. The uh, trellis here is struggling. And I'm not really surprised. Um, it was a really bad year for blight, for tomatoes in my area. But I'm glad to see the cucumber that I planted over here seems to be doing something. This is just a disaster. I've been trying to cut it and take the dead material away, but it just gets worse and worse every single day. Lots of tomatoes though, so that's cool. Fig tree is winding down. Lots of weird eggplants forming on this, this plant. I don't really, I don't really know what's going on. Like, what is, what is this? It's like upside down and it's huge. I don't get it. Whatever. Lots of peppers still to come pick. This one got a little bit of sun scald, but that's okay. You just cut it off and eat it. Still lots of jalapenos for making poppers. We should do that at some point. This guy's still producing some really nice eggplants too. And the peppers, I don't know, maybe the fertilizer. And then this looks variegated. I have not gotten a pepper from this plant yet specifically, but they look weird. Like, I don't really know what's going on there. Some other peppers, oh, there we go. In here that are looking nice, you can see that guy there there's the eggplant that is leaning because it's getting a little too heavy this is a hot pepper it's like a purple it's a very pretty pepper plant but it really didn't do a whole lot throughout the summer once i replanted it in here though you got all this new growth coming in so i hope it's not too late to get some more purple peppers out of that guy. I might even consider digging him up yet again and moving him inside. Strawberries, they're doing okay. We're trying to root some of them. Where is this nasturtium coming from? I would love to know. Is it planted in the ground? Did it just, it is. It seeded itself on the pavement. Oh, that is absolutely insane. My husband cut up some of our Japanese willow, uh, did some trimming in the front, so we have some propagations. Ooh, this is really fun. Look at this. Some yellow peppers here. <sighs> this is the pumpkin. This is my regret, <laughs> regretkin. My pumpkin of regrets, that's what we're gonna call it. And I had to Jimmy rig some sort of a hammock for that pumpkin that's growing. There's also another one over here. But as you um, probably now understand, a couple of weeks ago, I called myself an idiot for doing this. <sighs> and I still agree, I am an idiot for doing this. It's only gonna get bigger and more aggressive and heavier. And I don't know how to feel. This guy also needs to get out of here. He was over there, but we had to pray, spray for wasps. I gotta do some work on the shed. Wasps are all getting into that little crack in there. So something needs to happen. But that is your quick update for the backyard garden today. Things are kind of winding down because fall is coming, even though there's still some time in summer left. You can really feel it in the air. You can see it in the trees, the tomatoes, telltale signs, blight. So I'm very much looking forward to the fall. 
but there's gonna be a lot of really big changes in the garden over the next few weeks as we transition. All right, let's take you into the greenhouse next.